Why should we visit Titan, Saturn's largest moon, you might ask? Titan, a fascinating celestial body, bears striking resemblances to early Earth with its dense atmosphere, primarily composed of nitrogen and a characteristic orange haze enveloping the entire moon. But the similarities don't end there. Titan is unique in our solar system with its surface covered in lakes and seas, not of water, but of methane and ethane, establishing an alien hydrologic cycle like no other. These features make Titan a compelling focus of study, but there's more. With its cold, it is thought to be a potential harbor for previously unthinkable forms of life, methane-breathing organisms. The exploration and study of this moon could unlock insights into prebiotic chemistry and the origins of life, providing us with a better understanding of our own existence. It's no wonder Titan presents an intriguing destination for space exploration. This is why we, as humans driven by curiosity and the thirst for knowledge, are drawn to the mysteries it holds. With the conditions it presents, the grand quest to find life beyond Earth has led us to Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Embarking on a mission to Titan, Saturn's largest moon, is no easy task. Why, you ask? Well, it's not just because of the sheer distance we have to traverse, but also because of the harsh conditions that space exploration entails. Titan, a tantalizing prospect for exploration, presents us with a myriad of challenges. It mirrors early Earth in many ways, possessing a dense atmosphere primarily composed of nitrogen, with hints of methane and hydrogen. This unique mixture materializes into a thick orange haze that shrouds the moon, enhancing its mysterious appeal. But the challenges don't end there. Titan is a unique celestial entity, known to have stable bodies of surface liquid, akin to Earth. This liquid however is not water as we know it, it's lakes and seas of liquid methane and ethane, creating an alien world where it rains natural gas. This alien hydrologic cycle is eerily similar to our own, yet vastly different. The psychological toll of preparing for and embarking on such a journey is immense. The anticipation and uncertainty of what awaits us on Titan are palpable. Notions of life that thrives not on oxygen but on methane, in a world where water is as hard as rock, are both unnerving and exciting. As we face the unknown, we confront thee that has been plaguing us for centuries. Are we alone in the universe? Despite the challenges, the allure of Titan's secrets, its potential to reflect the prebiotic chemistry of early Earth, and the tantalizing possibility of discovering life or its building blocks, makes the journey a risk worth taking. With its unique conditions, Titan became the destination of one of the most daring missions in the history of space exploration. The day had arrived, the countdown began, the engines roared to life. The air was teeming with an undeniable energy, a cocktail of exhilarating anticipation and just a hint of nervous apprehension. Standing tall and majestic on the launch pad was the spaceship, a shining beacon of human innovation, its sleek design and polished exterior gleamed in the sunlight. Its significance was far greater than just a vessel, it embodied our shared curiosity and our relentless quest for knowledge. It was primed and ready to transport our hopes and dreams into the vast unknown of the cosmos. Inside Mission Control the atmosphere was charged, rows of dedicated scientists, engineers and specialists were riveted to their screens, carefully monitoring every minute detail. The solemn expressions on their faces mirrored the gravity of the moment. This was far more than just another launch, this was a daring voyage into the unknown, an expedition aimed at uncovering the secrets of Titan, Saturn's elusive moon. The final checks were wrapped up, the green light was given, a hush fell over the crowd as the countdown neared its end. Three, two, one. Then came the surge of power, the deafening roar, and the spaceship lifted off. The sight never ceased to inspire awe, a testament to human achievement. The earth trembled as the spaceship ascended leaving a of smoke in its wake. It climbed higher and higher, shaking off the shackles of earth's gravitational pull. The view of the spaceship shrinking into a speck against the endless sky was a humbling reminder of our place in the universe. The launch was a success. The spaceship was on its course, beginning an approximately seven-year journey to reach Titan. It was a moment of triumph, a moment of pride. As the spaceship disappeared into the sky the mission to Titan officially began. A fresh chapter in our exploration of the cosmos had been penned, and only time would tell what secrets it would reveal. The journey to Saturn's moon was not a simple one. It required stamina, resilience, and an unyielding spirit of exploration. Our destination was Titan, Saturn's largest moon, a trek of over a billion miles, a distance that is almost unfathomable. The voyage was not just a physical challenge but a battle against the severe conditions of space. 
the bitter cold, nearly absolute zero, the absence of breathable air, and the relentless assault of cosmic radiation made it a formidable adversary. Yet, it was not just the tangible perils that proved to be a trial. The psychological burden was also significant. The solitude, the quiet, the shadows, all conspired to stretch the boundaries of human endurance, not to mention the uncertainty, the unknown. What would we find on Titan? Could it harbor the answers to extraterrestrial life, or would it merely be another desolate, lifeless stone in the cosmic ocean? The anticipation, the thrill, the trepidation were all interwoven as we journeyed deeper into the cosmos. However, regardless of the tremendous distance, the severe conditions, the isolation and the uncertainty, we persevered. Our spaceship, a symbol of human creativity and resolve, maintained its course. Each mile covered, each hurdle crossed, brought us nearer to our goal. Each day was a triumph over the unknown, edging us closer to Titan and the answers we sought. Yes, the voyage was challenging but it was also thrilling, brimming with discoveries and revelations that would alter our perception of the cosmos. Our spaceship remained resolute throughout, a beacon of human determination amidst the vast cosmic sea. It encountered the trials head-on, undaunted by the unknowns that lay in wait. Despite the challenges the spaceship persisted in its journey, bringing us one step closer to uncovering the secrets of Titan. After an extended journey the spacecraft reached its terminal point, Titan. The first of Titan was a sight to behold, it was a mystifying hazy orange globe, its facade veiled by a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere. As the spacecraft drew closer, the wave of data gathering commenced, the onboard instruments awoke from their dormant state, analyzing Titan's atmosphere and surface. The atmosphere, denser than that of Earth's, consisted primarily of nitrogen with minute amounts of methane and varied hydrocarbons. Intriguingly, such an atmospheric makeup on Earth could possibly nurture life. An in-depth investigation into Titan's surface presented a diverse and dynamic planet. Radar data exposed a complex system of rivers and lakes, a silent testimony to the weather system on this far-off moon. The surface, a mixture of water ice and rock, was speckled with frozen hydrocarbon dunes, adding another layer to Titan's allure. The exhilaration of the arrival overwhelming but it merely marked the start. The spacecraft was now in a stable orbit around Titan, a small piece of human-made machinery in the grand cosmos, primed to decode the enigmas of this far-off world. With the spacecraft now circling Titan the genuine exploration was on the verge of initiation. As the spaceship delved into Titan's thick atmosphere, a new world was unveiled, a world that was so much like our own, yet so alien. The spacecraft deployed rovers like mechanical explorers to traverse the uncharted terrain of this mysterious moon. In an environment far colder than the coldest winters on Earth, the rovers made an astonishing discovery. They found lakes not of water but of liquid methane. Imagine that. Lakes and rivers not filled with the life-giving water we're so accustomed to, but instead with a substance that we Earthlings use for fuel. As the rovers continued to explore, they started analyzing Titan's geological features. The moon's surface was a showcase of mountains and valleys, all sculpted from water ice. The frigid temperatures on Titan are so low that water behaves more like rock, forming the backbone of the landscape. And then there were the dunes, stretching for miles, made not of sand, but of tiny particles of solid hydrocarbons that have settled out of the atmosphere. It's a world that flips our understanding of geology on its head, but perhaps the most fascinating aspect of Titan is its weather. Despite the extreme cold, Titan experiences a cycle similar to Earth's water cycle, but with methane playing the role of water. Methane evaporates, forms clouds and falls as rain, carving riverbeds and filling lakes. Titan, the only place in our solar system besides Earth known to have liquids in the form of lakes and seas on its surface, and rain falling from its skies, doesn't fail to fascinate us. It's a world that seems to be in an eternal winter, a world that challenges our understanding of what it means to be a planet, to host an atmosphere, to hold the promise of life. Titan was a world full of surprises, challenging our understanding of what it means to host life. Then, amid the data and the images, a discovery was made. A discovery that would send ripples through the scientific community and ignite a spark of hope in the hearts of those yearning for answers, yearning to know if we are alone in the universe. It wasn't immediate, it was a painstaking process. A slow unraveling of a cosmic mystery, a meticulous parsing of information, gathered from a world over a billion kilometers away. But that's how science works. 
It's not about sudden eureka moments but about perseverance, patience, and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. The mission to Titan, Saturn's largest moon, had been an ambitious endeavor. Its primary purpose was to explore this distant moon, to study its thick atmosphere and complex climate, its diverse geology, and its vast seas of liquid methane and ethane. But there was also an underlying hope, a faint glimmer of possibility, that Titan might hold the key to one of the most profound questions we have ever asked. Is there life beyond Earth? And then, there it was. Hidden within the vast amounts of data being sent back from Titan, a pattern emerged. A pattern that suggested the presence of complex organic molecules in Titan's atmosphere. These aren't just any molecules, these are the building blocks of life. These molecules, composed of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen, are the very essence of life as we know it. They are the ingredients from which proteins, the machinery of life, are built. They are the raw materials for DNA, the blueprint of life. To find such molecules on Titan, in the cold and distant reaches of our solar system, was nothing short of extraordinary. But it wasn't just the finding of these molecules that was significant. It was also where they were found, in Titan's atmosphere. This suggested a possible pathway for the formation of life, a process known as abiogenesis where life arises naturally from non-living matter. Imagine if you will a world where the skies are filled with the seeds of life, where complex organic molecules float in the atmosphere, ready to combine and form the precursors of life. This is the world that Titan could be. Now this discovery doesn't mean that there is life on Titan. Not yet. But it does suggest the potential for life. It opens up a new avenue of exploration, a new realm of possibility. It gives us a tantalizing glimpse into what might be, into the potential that lies hidden in the far reaches of our solar system. This discovery was a significant step towards answering the question, are we alone in the universe? And while we may not have a definitive answer yet, this discovery brings us one step closer. It reminds us that the universe is a vast and wondrous place, filled with potential and brimming with mysteries yet to be unraveled. And it reaffirms our commitment to exploration, to discovery, to the relentless pursuit of knowledge, because that's what drives us, that's what makes us human. This discovery was a significant step towards answering the question, are we alone in the universe? The discovery of complex organic molecules on Titan had profound implications. It's not just about the thrill of discovery, but it's about the reshaping of our understanding of the cosmos. The presence of these molecules on Titan, one of Saturn's moons, suggests that the ingredients for life may not be exclusive to our home planet. This realization ushers in a paradigm shift, a new perspective where life could be more common in the universe than we ever thought possible. Imagine for a moment the possibility of life on Titan. It wouldn't resemble anything we're familiar with here on Earth. Instead, it might be an entirely new form of life, adapted to survive in the harsh, cold conditions of a distant moon. This would be a testament to the incredible adaptability of life and its potential to exist in even the most extreme environments. But the implications of this discovery don't stop at the possibility of extraterrestrial life. They extend to our future space exploration missions as well. If life's ingredients can be found on a moon as distant and hostile as Titan, where else could they be hiding? Could Mars with its historic rivers and lakes harbor similar molecules? What about the icy moons of Jupiter like Europa and Ganymede? The discovery on Titan compels us to look closer at these celestial bodies, to embark on new missions, to delve deeper into the unknown, it has set a precedent, a new standard for where we search for life beyond our home planet. This discovery also serves as a reminder of our place in the universe. We are but one small part of a vast cosmos, teeming with potential for life. It underscores our shared origins, the cosmic connection between us and every other potential life form in the universe. The mission to Titan opened up a new realm of possibilities in our search for life beyond Earth. It's not just a step forward but a giant leap for mankind, and who knows, perhaps one day, we'll find that we're not alone in this grand, infinite universe. With the data collected and the discoveries made it was time for the spaceship to return home. As the spaceship bid farewell to Titan, the journey back to Earth began. The journey, once filled with anticipation and uncertainty, was now laced with a sense of accomplishment and a thirst for the knowledge that awaited analysis back on home turf. The spaceship, now a seasoned voyager, retraced its path through the vast expanse of space. Saturn, the gas giant, slowly receded into the background, its iconic rings glowing like a halo in the darkness. In the rear view, 
Titan, the moon that held so many secrets, was now a fading speck of light. Just as the outward journey, the return was not without its challenges. The spacecraft had to navigate through the asteroid belt, a cosmic obstacle course, with the precision of a seasoned pilot. But the spaceship, designed by the best minds on Earth, was more than up to the task. The thrill of the unknown was replaced by the anticipation of the known. The data collected from Titan had the potential to unlock secrets about the universe, about life, and about our own planet. The journey home was not just a physical voyage but also a journey of knowledge, a journey from the unknown to the known. As the spaceship hurtled through space, past Mars and onto the final leg of its journey, the sense of anticipation was palpable. The mission to Titan had been a success, but the real work was just beginning. The data, the discoveries, the potential implications were all waiting to be unraveled. As Earth, our blue planet came into view, the sense of homecoming was overwhelming. The spaceship carrying the secrets of Titan was about to complete its epic journey. As the spaceship made its way back to Earth, the scientists were left with a wealth of information to analyze and understand. The Titan mission, an ambitious journey into the unknown, had come full circle. Now, the real journey of discovery was about to begin. The mission to Titan was more than just a journey to Saturn's moon, it was a voyage of discovery, a leap into the unknown that expanded our understanding of the universe and our place in it. This mission didn't just send a spacecraft to an alien world, it sent ripples through the corridors of human knowledge, it challenged our assumptions, pushing us to rethink what we thought we knew about life, about planets, about the cosmos itself. We peered into the inky blackness of space, and in the icy landscapes of Titan, saw a reflection of our own potential and resilience. The impact of the Titan mission has been profound. It has reshaped our understanding of the universe. It has shown us that life as we know it is not the only possibility. That there are other, alien environments where life could potentially thrive. And in doing so, it has expanded the boundaries of our search for life beyond Earth. But perhaps even more significant is the legacy this mission has left here on Earth. A legacy that goes beyond the realms of science and exploration. This mission has ignited a spark, a spark that has set a new generation of minds ablaze. Young scientists, astronomers and space explorers who have been inspired by the Titan mission to reach for the stars, to question, to explore, to dream. This mission has shown us that we are part of something far greater than ourselves. It has reminded us of our humble place in the cosmos, and yet, it has also shown us the immense power of human curiosity and ingenuity. The mission to Titan was not just about finding life, it was about understanding our place in the cosmos, and redefining what it means to be alone in the universe. It was about looking up at the night sky and knowing that we are not just spectators in this cosmic ballet, we are participants, explorers on a never-ending journey of discovery. 